Hello, my name is Tony Torrance. We're going to do a quick demo here on the uh, CDC Posse Bugger. Uh, we're tying this on a 3761 size 10 with a gold bead 532nd. Just going to get my thread started here. So we're going to start out here by tying in a tail. We're going to clip a little bit of possum hair. Take that and trim it up. Lay it in on the, on the shank. Post that out the back near the bend of the hook. And then we take a little bit of pearl flashaboo. Clip off one or two strips of that. Lay it on the side of your tail. Bring over your other piece and get it parallel to the other side and trim it up even with the tail. A little bit of copper wire. This is a uh, brassy size copper wire. Now this is the point where you can add some lead um, if you want to and you would just wrap that around the shank and I'll show that on the next fly on the uh, uh, Millennium Prince. Next thing we'll do here is we'll take uh, some awesome opossum here, dub that on our thread. Don't be afraid to get uh, get it kind of thick because the more it bugs out after the fish tear it, up, tear it up a little bit the better it fishes. So I'm just going to dub that on tapering my body build it up a little more. You want to leave a little bit of space by that bead so that um, you can put in your CDC and your little black collar You'll notice that I'm touching my finger on my tongue. That's gross, but it uh, moistens, makes my finger tacky so that I get a better grip on the uh, dubbing. So next what I'll do is take one strip of Pearl Flashaboo, tie that in, and then you'll take that and wrap it around the body. And this just adds a little bit of sheen, kind of a bubble effect. Oh, let go. I'm going to evenly space that about five or six wraps. And then my copper wire, I take that and go over the top of that crosswise. And that just secures it down so as it gets tattered by fish, you've still got a fly that fishes. So that's the body. Next, we're going to use a magic tool that was designed by Mark Pettigene. We're going to use some CDC. Basically, you get a pair of feathers, pair them up, lay that right in the crease of your Pettigene tool, set it flat on your surface, grab a piece of monofilament, and then just push it down in. And that stands it up. Next I take my clip and slide it over, clip that, open up the Pettigene tool, and I've got this. Then I'll take my scissors and get the stem out leaving just enough tag to grab in a dubbing loop. Okay? I'm going to set this aside, get a dubbing loop started, and all you do is take a loop of line and then lay your thread back over the shank of your hook. Take your tool, lay it in place, and get ready. Slide your Pettigene tool with the stubs in between. Your two pieces of thread slip your finger out, let go, and start a twisting. Makes a really durable hackle without the bulk of the stems in place. The other thing it does is you can adjust the length of your fibers. So if you're tying a smaller fly and you want to have a little shorter CDC, you can adjust it that way. Now after I've made and dubbed that in, I just take and wrap my line around that thread and then tie it in that way and that gets it all nice and secure. Okay, now I need some black dubbing.
a little bit of uh, hairline with, uh, this is actually Hairtron, it's got a little bit of Antron and it gives a little more sparkle. Take that, dub that real good. Put this back out of the way, put a little black collar up near the head for the caddis effect. Get your whip finish tool, put a couple whip finishes on there, and you're ready to fish. Looks great, Tony. Could you do one more Pettigene CDC demo where you, just the not, not actually wrapping on the fly, but how did you do it in the tool? Okay. So uh, I didn't catch that as clearly as I'd like to. So I've got a pair of um, CDCs, and I like the longer fibers. You line those stems up. I'm going to take those and lay those right on top of this base. And it comes with two parts, the base and the clip. Okay, okay, the base. Got it. So now I've got the base laying there with, the t with that uh, CDC laying in place, and then I just take a piece of monofilament, press it down into the tool, so are the stems in line with the center of the base? Yes, okay. they are. Okay. Then I just take this monofilament, six pound works best, or eight, and it's down in there. Next I take my clip, slide it over those tips, open the base, turn it over, Got it. and we're set. Okay. Now I can clip, clip the uh, stems out. And then you're going to put that in the dubbing loop? Put that in the dubbing loop. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you. You bet.